In choosing to live out chastity, we must also choose to forgive those who have caused us pain. We all have a past. Some of us have lived in the hookup culture and all the brokenness that comes with it. Whatever our past entails, there are places we've all been hurt. Each time anyone is used, objectified, or lied to, it's painful. That pain can easily turn into resentment and holding a grudge when we hear that we're made for more than that pain. The message of chastity might cause us to look back at our past with shame for the times when we weren't loved or didn't love in the ways we're called to. It's easy to look back and recognize how others lusted after us, used us, hurt us. I'm not suggesting we dwell on those painful memories, but rather consider the ways someone who hurt us might still hold us captive. In choosing to live out chastity, we must also choose to forgive those who have caused us pain. I wanna share with you two ways you can choose to be free of the past and keep moving forward in chastity. One, accept yourself. It can be difficult to forgive ourselves. How do we forgive ourselves for believing that guy who said he would stick around or believing that he was different than the others or choosing to settle? Human beings are not perfect. We can be messy and frustrating. This doesn't mean that we allow people to mistreat us. It simply means that we recognize that even though people disappoint us, even though we disappoint ourselves, we can still choose better and we are still always worthy of great love. Two, choose forgiveness even when they don't deserve it. One of the most difficult parts of forgiveness is forgiving someone who doesn't deserve it. Of course they don't. You think people who hurt others don't deserve mercy? You're right, no one deserves mercy, but we ought to receive it anyway. That's the beauty of forgiveness. It's given freely, nobody earns it. Forgiveness is not denying the hurt or saying it doesn't matter, not at all. In fact, forgiveness looks at the brokenness, acknowledges the pain, and lets go of bitterness. Forgiveness, like love, is a choice. It would be nice if every time we forgave someone, it automatically included repentance, but it simply won't be that way. Without even the slightest glimpse of remorse, Forgiveness can still be chosen because we deserve to be free of the resentments that we hold. After being hurt by someone, I wonder if I could ever really forgive them. I wanted to, but I wasn't sure if I could let go of the hurt that they caused. I remember praying and hearing these words echo in my heart. Don't doubt how much your heart can love. I was giving myself too little credit. I'm capable of living out chastity and forgiveness in radical ways. And so are you.